welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, let's continue to show you how to draw using geometry nodes just in few and easy steps without using that complex uh, geometry nodes trees. And just I'm gonna be using, as shown in our tutorial, five geometry nodes at all. Then all we need to know, hit A to select everything. Then X to drop into object mode. Let's change the that shape. Change the monkey head. I'm gonna be enabling the add curve sampling tree generator in order to add the tree. I'm working on that to scatter some trees like uh, those trees spreading on some landscapes and mountains. So let's try it. Let's add a tree to the scene using that uh, supply tree generator add-on. Shift A. Let's go over mesh then. Search for tree, supply tree generator. And that's it over there. And we have added uh, that tree to the scene. We should convert it to a mesh, convert it to a mesh just like this. Tap into it is mode and you can see it as a mesh over there. Tap to object mode again. And you have this tree, how to scatter all those, uh, this tree and make uh, mountain trees, some distributed trees and randomly distributed on the, some landscapes or mountains. Click on new. Let's add some important uh, geometry nodes. We have added to the scene this tree and should be a mesh. I converted it, convert it to a mesh as shown here. And I have added this PC curve as you can see in our tutorial over there. So hit new to begin adding some important geo nodes. In this case, we need to add curve to points. Shift A. I'm gonna be adding curve to points like this. Curve, curve to points. Drag it over there. Just we need to scale it a bit more. Scale it down. Count set it to length like this. I think we should set the length to 0 0.05, 0 0.01, just like this. Let's add another node. Shift here. I'm gonna be adding instance on points. Instance on points, just like this. Drag it into over here. So let's add the mesh. In order to follow that curve, shift I'm gonna be adding another mesh object info just like this. Connect the geometry socket to instance. We need to add a tree like this and as shown here. So let's see what we have. I need to should scale it a little bit so let's zoom in a tiny bit to see and you have those trees are distributed uh, following that curve point uh, point zero five And as you can see in our tutorial, those trees are distributed following that curve. Let's decrease that value of scaling, 0 
and that's it to distribute all those trees as shown in our tutorial. And you can draw creating those trees following that path. And setting the length value to 0.7, you can create that shape as shown here and those uh, trees following that path that you have added. So let's uh, draw. You can also extrude and uh, hold in that handle of the busy curve and extrude it on the X axis. It's going to be creating different trees when extruding. And you can see it a bit more clearly in our tutorial over there. So I want to use the draw tool like this and we want to draw. So let's just zoom out a little bit to see. And you can see that uh, we can draw those trees following any path you want. Hit 7 and you can draw just like this. Let's do it again to draw. And you can draw those different trees like what we see in the forest and that's a random distribution of trees. Let's zoom closer to it uh, just a tiny bit and you can see this amazing distribution of trees. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.